Okay, boys and girls, Idiot's Guide to Ludicrous Speed Challenge Part 2 is coming up. Just looking at the forecast, you can see on here, we're forecast, well, we're meant to leave Tuesday night, so Tuesday looks like uh, it's going to be the best day to get the weight on, get the small sail. Oh, I've got to go and get that tuned up as well. Uh, but this looks windy. This is windy. You have to kind of add 10 knots, I think, so that could be a 40 knot plus day. Wednesday is a day we haven't really looked at. We've got the flight from Cape Town, which is a 12 hour drive on Thursday morning. This is looking tempting. Maybe we have to wait for this. Maybe we have to do a real last minute drive to Cape Town, risk missing that flight. Monday's like a warm up day. Tuesday could be good, but this looks, this looks big time. This is over 40 knots. Oh my life, this is gonna get real. We're gonna have to get the weight jacket sorted. Um, I think Farrell says he's going to give me help tuning up my small cell. I've not been on here, I've got a 5-0. Okay, 5-0. Uh, I've been told that forecast, as we saw before, is coming through. Um, my sails are actually prototype sails. Uh, and I've been told for this channel, because it's such a specific place, you only go one way, you don't need to flip the rig, and it's a very deep angle, we can make a few adjustments to the depth of the sail. But we haven't rigged it up yet, so Mr. O'Shea has said, look, let's rig it up, let's see how it sits. Maybe we can put a softer button in some more spaces, as we saw Roberta Hoffman doing the other day, just to get this some shape in it. So we're going to go and rig it up. We're at the Nest Hotel. We're going to rig it up on the grass. Oh, yeah, living the dream. Oh, the in the oh, Everyone's down here anyway. I think this is what to do on the, on the day off. We're selfish and belligerent, but they don't ever seem to mind. But it's interesting this because I never knew anything about this much tension on that. So what does this do? Okay, it's doing a few things. It's making the profile fuller at the deepest point here. Yeah. Because technically it's pulling the sail in. Yeah. The more you pull this in, the more shape you start to get. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's also increasing the tension on the foot. Yeah. So the foot doesn't start to open. And it's also increasing the tension a little bit in the lower leech, in the very lower leech section there. Okay. So if it's super flat and windy, you can hold it with this much tension. If it goes super choppy, if you let it off a bit, you'll lose a bit of profile, but actually you'll get a bit more twist. Oh, okay. The twist will twist a little smoother to the bottom. So it's quite important, the old tax trap. Yeah, super important. Huh? Didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Now start pushing the bottom one. Jesus. Where we probably need another spacer. Okay, yeah, but still, that mine's nowhere near that. Yeah, they're not moving. Yeah, they're not moving. Okay. You I need some pressure on my counts. <laughs> but what I've been told is... There's not enough tension on my cams. So, uh, cam spacers, just these little plastic things. You take the cam off, easy. Uh, and they just basically slot over the uh, the tongue, I think it's called. I don't really know. And they just slip on like that. So you can see they're going to increase the pressure on this cam. As we saw with uh, foul sail before, the amount of pressure he has on his cam is crazy. I mean, you can't even bump it, whereas mine were moving. So that's basically what we're doing. So you can see when you put the cam back on, it's basically just sitting there and pushing the cam towards the mass more. I've been here for a week. Um, I've been speaking to a couple of the old guard, obviously Farrell O'Shea, one of my sponsors, but a couple of the others as well, um, Bjorn Dunkerbeck, trying to think how do we get to that next level. Obviously weight is one thing for me, but there's also something else that they have uh, pointed out which is aerodynamics. Now, I've never really thought of this before, um, and I've had an idea. Uh, we just go into one of the local um, retailers in Luderitz to pick up some supplies and just watch this space. We've got an idea. <laughs> 50 knots is coming, baby. The main thing is you're hidden behind it. 
Yep. That works. <laughs> I think we need a little bit more work. <laughs> I think I'm about right. Yeah, no, it ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't bad. You're right. <laughs> I think it's coming your eyes a bit. Safety first, boys. Safety third. Safety third. So we are stepping leaps and bounds here in Helmet Tech. Wind has actually just picked up uh, and I thought this would be the ideal opportunity because tomorrow is meant to be nuclear. Everyone said, have you got your helmet? Don't worry, I actually forgot my helmet. But after a little trip down to the spa, I've managed to create this. <laughs> That's it kids, safety first, I'm ready for tomorrow. The big wins are coming, the records are gonna get broke. We're gonna be here to bring you all the action. Stay tuned. Everyone was saying today was gonna be the day, big Wednesday they were calling it. We've got to get a flight tomorrow morning, so uh, we're pushing it super. It's like, what, 13 hours to get back to uh, Cape Town? Uh, and we've just got down the beach. There's clouds in the sky. It's not cranking as it was hoped for, but it's still, we're still hopeful. Uh, I was just looking for me Twan as well, and I can't find him, so I've had to borrow this. Uh, this thing is amazing. If you ever have to put down on a sail, look at, check this thing. This is the easiest way to put down on a sail when you haven't got a Twan. <laughs> so hopefully, Ah. Look at that thing. That's a bit too much. Okay, I found out a few things on this trip to Luderitz about rigging. One of them, whack, <laughs> crank the downhaul. When you haven't got a twam, you have to use one of them windy things. Another thing that I learned, which I didn't know anything about, this tack strap, you've got to put this thing on. Just check this. There's a shape in here now, and I'll put this thing on. There we go, much more shape. Doesn't look very pretty, but you get more shape in this bottom and it curves it right up. Uh, for speed sailing, this is apparently the thing to do. So crank this baby up, you can put it on. I've seen people putting this thing on like downhaul. It's crazy, like just pulls this bottom of the sail and just creates this depth. 50 knots, here we come, buggers. Just... Today's the day I get some weight. So I've got the weight jacket on. The only thing now is I think I need some of these bad boys. Apparently, how heavy are we going? Four and a half kilos to Four start. Kilos. Hang on. All right, baby. Oh. Is that all right? Like a normal sized human being now. Okay. Up to 85 kilos. Nine kilos. Oh, yeah. 90. So 90 kilos profit is like going my, down at like 90. My other jacket? You can wear mine over that, and I've got another nine kilos. <laughs> try it though. I think maybe I'll give this a go. Okay, try it. Nine that. feels. Try okay. that and then come back, no, but really, and then put 18 on, you'll feel, if there's enough, no, really, if there's enough wind, you'll just feel so much more stable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that way. I found the muscle. Does the harness go over the top? Yeah, yeah, well, no, not normally, but it'd probably be better if it does, because otherwise it slides up. Heavy. <laughs> it actually doesn't feel too bad. The problem is, as we've seen a lot this week, the angle is still not right, so it's too broad, and I'm not that powered up. But actually, weirdly, you can feel it in a straight line. Um, it's quite comfortable. It's quite comfortable. Love to get a. Uh... Thanks, man. Okay. I'd love to get a proper run with it. Are we going to get one today? I bloody hope so. <laughs> back there but that that is what the weight jacket does it gives you consistency over the course I'm still not getting the peaks I'm still like low 46 
felt I could have gone better on that run, so I should be really happy because I've stopped 45 on the board. But I'm like, there's more. There's definitely more. We've got to go home very soon, but I'm going to have a sneaky little run. <laughs> This midget in the world. <laughs> now go quicker now. I put a little bit extra weight in, like I think I'm onto about 10 kilos now, and I uh, put a bigger fin in. Actually, I put a 20 back. I was under 19. I put the 20 back in a bit more lift, and I'm consistently going fast. I still, I'm not doing the peak I want to do, and I still unhooked, unhooked like uh, 30, 50 meters from the finish, and I was like that. But I still, I think got 46.8 or something over 500. Pretty happy with that. Ben is always flying. At the same speed as me. Right, I'll go to the board and see how quick he goes. He looks powered up, eh? Yeah. Okay, Lones, stay down. And uh, good for 849.1. 49! You know what's on the board? No. 49.1. No, Ooh. for who? 491 for you! Shut up! Yeah. Shut up bro. No, that's a miscalculation. Well, 491, mate! That's what they said. I don't know. I didn't turn it on. Here's an idiot's guide. Right, take it. First rule of the Idiot's Guide, always start your GPS. <laughs> you realise you're the fastest guy here now? Shut up! I think she, messed the, she must have messed the timing up. Go to the board. You are the fastest man here. Well done, old man. Woo! Hey! Oh, I've just been overtaken by Twan, I'll take that. <laughs> Shit! That can't be right. <laughs> Gotta be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's right, I'll be fucking uh, get that tequila out. <laughs> well done, old man. That's huge. That's huge. huge. Fuck! I gotta start turning this thing on. <laughs> <laughs> on the first corner, I got picked. I was like. <laughs> God, there's stones flying. The wind is picking up. It's honky tonk, baby. 49.91 peak. So fucking close. So close. I need to stay. We've got to go. Uh, this is idiot's guide, man. But I tell you what, I've got to get back out there. I'm getting addicted to this. I'm so pumped up. It's unbelievable. 9.5 high climbs. Andy Lauva said shorten them. I nearly did a 59 peak. Wow. Your mind is a long way down I can see your blind It's always you, it's always you When you look at me My God, look at the wind behind me Idiot's guide, tips for me I'm still on the 5-4 Doing the Anders bring down method Just stay on your big sail and hold it on I chucked some weight on today uh, I think I've got about 10 kilos in And it's definitely helping I'm not getting buffing around so much My only problem is my arms are giving in must be too much commentating, but this arm on the front hand, I nearly lost it on the last run. I was all over the shop and I thought, hmm, but I need another run. I've done 49.91 on the watch of the peak. I really want to join that 50 knot club. It's still on. Uh, we've got to catch, well, we've got to drive back to Cape Town to get the flight. So it is over for the Idiot's Guide to Ludwig Speed Challenge and Speed Sailing. I'm doing two more runs, because never do one more. The last one's always the worst. So two more runs. Uh, and we're gonna off drive home. See you next time! Can't say no, I can't let go. It's a fucked up page in a book, you know. It's always you, it's always you. I don't wanna be another one, you said you let go. I don't wanna be. Mission accomplished! Yes! The last run of the last page! <laughs> yes. Congratulations! 
the idiot's guide to speed tag is complete. An idiot has gone 50 knots. <laughs> What's it say? 53 8! 53 8 Pete! Good lad. That's fast, eh? Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy I went for that last run. I was nearly going home and I was like, looking at the 49, just going, no, I am not going out like this. Oh man, it's getting good. This boys and girls absolutely smashing out times right now. And there's such a good atmosphere. I'll tell you one thing you learn in the Idiot's Guide, that there is a very strong camaraderie, I think, between the speed sailors. Everyone is pleased when you do your best. I do like that, I've got to be honest. There's a very good feeling in the camp right now. Oh, it's always you. <laughs> it's a roller coaster to insanity. Bullet in the head, you menace me. It's always you. Is it that tight? No. Go on, eh? Well, it's not easy. Don't break it, then. That's it, it's on to stay. Do you want to see yourself? That's a good shot, man. Yeah, it's a little thing on it. We had in the house was what? I wasn't listening. Oh. I don't think I listened to what you lot say, John. Ben's major most of his time is doing what he's doing there, stroking his knee. Wow. It looks like you're stroking your knee for me. <laughs> <laughs>